everybody. It's Lex and my best friend, Riot. I'd like to start today by thanking Hemiway for giving us for free this e-bike to go on today's adventure. Here in Southern Florida, there are gonna be crocodiles and alligators potentially, so no dogs are allowed in the area that I'm going to be going for a ride on this Hemiway e-bike. Before I get started, a little life update, because I know a lot of my subscribers are probably wondering. I've been a little bit off the charts, and we're about to do a sponsored video. So to kind of keep you abreast of what's happening, I'm in Southern Florida for a few reasons, but number one is I had surgery a few weeks ago. Um, as many of you know, I had broken my nose as many times I had a deviated septum and I recently had that fixed so it's still swollen we're still in the healing process now that's kind of relevant for a couple of reasons for one this is my first time ever being in an RV park which is super strange and it was kind of a uh, uh, cluster and it was kind of an arduous task to get the cargo trailer to even be in the park. Now I'm keeping our location discreet because I'm going to be here for a little bit longer which is why you're not seeing a ton of environment around me uh, but I'll share the details of how I got the cargo trailer into an RV park in southern Florida with you in another video. Um, now with the healing process from having surgery I'm still on exercise restriction for another three weeks. Now why that's relevant is because an e-bike allows me to get out and do things without having to uh, have a lot of strain so I can use the e-bike using the throttle and the pedal assist so it's even more gentle than walking because I do have clearance from the surgeon to walk um, and to have kind of like that light movement but I'm not able to do actual exercise for another three weeks so the fact that I get to use an e-bike and not really have to exert myself is so nice because I'm getting a little stir crazy one being in the same spot for too long two being in an RV park and three not being able to exercise the way that I want to. Luckily, there's lots of parks nearby, so I'm able to bring Riot to those and play Frisbee with her. Again, very low stress activity on my body, but giving her the satisfaction that she needs. But if you're a person that has some um, physical limitations, this is where e-bikes really excel because you're able to get out, explore, do things, and be active without actually putting strain, wear, and tear on your body. Now, if you're wondering what's happening with the cargo trailer, the cargo trailer is still in a state of disarray. It's not the most comfortable place to be, um, but it is my home and it is what it is. You know, lots of people have their homes under construction uh, and, you know, it is what it is. Right after this, we're going to be going to a couple different locations. The first location we got rained out of, so this is going to be a couple day journey of testing this e-bike. Thanks for being here with us today and I hope you enjoy cruising Southern Florida with me. throttle on this to be pretty sensitive so be ready for it to pick up speed even when it's only on the first level all right you want to go around the thing with me yeah. try. what do you mean try it didn't that's supposed to be all terrain too downpour and now there's a severe thunderstorm warning and we got a notification that for our protection we should move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. 
So we're gonna head back to the RV park and continue this on another day. All right, so as we all know, I just love vlogging in public. So I came to one of the most public areas that you could find, some beach in Miami, I don't know, North Beach, South Beach, I'm not exactly sure where I am, but I'm gonna be riding the Hemiway. I'm really uh, uh, impressed that it handles sand so well. Uh, the battery range is doing really, really good, but we wanna uh, really see if we can get that long range out of it that they claim uh, while having some fun and looking at half naked people that are really attractive. So let's go ahead and have some fun with that. Um, I'm not usually such an urban person anymore, but you know, I did spend most of my life in Chicago. So it's not totally foreign uh, to be in an environment like this, but it is certainly weird. So uh, let, let's have a weird good time on this bike and I hope you have fun at the beach with us. Let's try that again. <laughs> During this initial shakedown, we noticed that this came a little loose. So the nice thing about being in an urban area is if you forget your multi-tool or anything, you get these repair stations. This is a little warm. But we'll this kickstand is beefy.
give my final impressions, I just want to breeze through the initial setup and some details. Unboxing and setup took about an hour and they do provide the tools you need and a neat little multi-tool. I enlisted help due to my surgical restrictions, but setup can be done by just one person. The Hemiway is currently $15.99 and has a two-year warranty. The battery is an 840-watt Samsung battery, and it has a 750-watt motor. This bike goes up to 60 miles on a single charge and is 72 pounds. It's also water-resistant, which I really like, and has five levels of pedal assist. I was disillusioned, though, that out of the box it had several scrapes and scratches, and the welds were uh, sturdy, but pretty messy. Wait, can you hold that? Oh. All right, everybody, I hope you had as much fun touring Miami, South Beach, North Beach. I guess technically we started at North Beach and rode all the way through South Beach to go get empanadas and then around town and back to this park near where we parked. Anyway, I hope you had a really good time doing all that with us. I have to say, I am super impressed with the quality of the Hemiway. Now, it's hard to compare it to the electric e-bike just because they're in such different price points. I don't feel like they're necessarily in the same category. The Hemiway is about $700 more, but I do feel like you get what you pay for. The ride is super smooth. The brakes handled really well. Um, it's much quieter. You just have a little hum from the motor. Where it lacks in suspension, I feel like the fat tires really make up for it. It handles sand, even really deep sand, super well. And then the battery life. The, the long range that they claim is absolutely true. So we started out with both batteries charged at the same time. So we could kind of compare that. And then as we rode, we made sure that we used the throttle or the pedal assist 100% of the time. So, or almost 100% of the time, you know? So, so really we're using the bike and we're using the electricity and the Hemiway is barely even touched on its battery, just one bar down. And the electric e-bike, although still a great bike, it's the bike that I'm personally keeping. I love that it folds, I love lots of different things about it, but the battery is all the way halfway down. So the long range of this, I feel like for nomads, for people that travel, for people that commute, you can have a lot of reliable miles out of it and you're not using a lot of electricity. For those of us that live off grid, that's especially important because maybe you're using solar to power your bike, maybe you're using a generator, whatever it might be. You know, a lot of us don't just plug into a wall outlet. It's not that convenient. So if you can have it fully charged, because it took about the same amount of time to charge, but you're getting that many more miles out of it and it's a very very smooth ride I feel like you're really getting what you pay for so um, I hope you had fun today I really had a lot of fun today um, with the Hemiway again thank you to them for providing the bike for free there is gonna be information and yes affiliate links that would earn Riot and I some commission so that Riot can have more toys and uh, you know I can put fuel in the tank or whatever but there are gonna be links in the description box below. And uh, if you liked this video, I sure would appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. If you like erratic nomad content, then consider subscribing. And thank you again for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.